Hello, welcome back to Venus Sushi Life Funding. Today we're going to take a look at a simple node in Spreadshop. And it's actually called um, deform by formula. Perhaps at some point I talk about it, but I can't remember. It's a pretty basic uh, node, but it's pretty powerful. I will be just displaying like a one simple usage. So SV deform by formula just to get you started so I will just use a plain mk2 and I will be using a viewer draw so by default it will generate a plane I'll make it 30 by 30 so that's a pretty good number to start and then we have this vertices xyz lowercase and xyz uppercase seems like rather simple but let's see what this can do. Let's center this. So we have a plain grid. Um, can you guess it? Uh, I think the first thing you can try is perhaps we know that the X is running this way and then the Y is running that way and the Z is going up. So if you want to deform in the Z axis, and make it ups and down we can kind of add it like something like this the z plus sign of the x value so that will give you like kind of like a wavy uh, wavy mesh and you can always bake it so this is one simple usage you can do this in many so many different ways of course you know that with a deform modifier and things like that but with this you can easily use a formula in here there is no other input except for this uppercase xyz that's actually something uh, you want to try as well for example perhaps adding some kind of randomness let's say we have like 30 by 30 here so we have 900 so i want to have 900 random numbers and I want to add it in here so maybe add a x oops so uppercase x so that will work right because you are adding like a random number here you can scale it so that works it's pretty cool I think it's pretty basic and simple it's not very visual but it's you can just copy and paste formula in here there are many ways I think there's also other kind of formulas formula shape this one actually I haven't used this for a while but this also generates shapes based on formula and there's a lot you can try maybe like use some of this formula in inside here maybe just for as an idea or just pipe in a number into this guy it's pretty fun so let's say if we are we zero out the randomness and then for the x maybe you add if you multiply it with a value so you see it's stretching it's, it's almost like you're scaling it so that's also interesting you can use a different value like maybe cosine from the y so you get this result and you can always go back to the plane and yes yeah, playing around with this it's kind of neat um, so my math probably is not the best it's not very very good but a formula is interesting you can keep adding it um, for example with the y you can maybe multiply it with another y or multiply it with the x what do you get oh with a circular maybe with the Z so you get that you can get a very interesting result very very quickly well, set as. I wonder if instead of using plane and we are using something like torus or icosphere wonder what's gonna be the result So that's icosphere. 
So you get that shape, which is pretty weird. You get like a 3D weirdness. It's actually just display displacing it in X and Y and cos. Maybe I can even add sine X. So now we have X being influenced by the Y, Y being influenced by this guy. So that's a pretty interesting result, I think. So, and you can always add some kind of randomness over here because you can always displace this guy with the other number, the other value is coming from here. So yeah, so I think that's uh, pretty much the basic idea, you can play around with it. Um, maybe you have found like an interesting shape, you can let me know in the comments. And But I think that's pretty much it. Alright, um, hopefully you find this useful, let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.